as Muslims, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said in the hadith, and we should take this, that talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim, and you guys are acting upon this, that seeking knowledge is far, is obligatory upon every single muslim. The reason why is because Islam cannot be preserved and protected if we have half-assed knowledge. You understand? That this is just something we ask half words and we just learn a little bit of it and we go on. This is not the situation where we do that. Even you brothers, I just received a picture today, I saw it, I think you've seen it as well. A man in Turkey, he's a hundred years old. Have you seen it? Anyone seen it? No. He's a hundred years old. You've seen the sister? A hundred year old man, he goes every day to sit with the little kids and memorize the Quran. Every single day. I don't know how long has he been memorizing. I don't know if he started maybe when he was 99. But subhanAllah, one of the teachers, one of my teachers became a house when he was 50. 50. One of the other teachers, the one who taught me 20 years of the Quran, he became Hafiz after he got married. So this is not something that you have to think that most of the Sahabas learned the deen after they were old. You know, apart from the few like Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. So this shows that you should not feel, you know, sometimes you think that, oh my God, my brain cannot handle it, I cannot do it, I cannot memorize the Quran because I can't, you know, I'm going to college, I cannot learn the deen because I'm so occupied with school. We have to understand something. This is our responsibility, even in terms of the tajweed, in terms of everything else. I'm not learning the tajweed to show you or to show someone I can recite. I'm not learning the Quran. You're not learning Arabic from me. You're learning for yourself. So when you read the Quran, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on the commentary of the ayah in Surah Muzzammil, وَرَطِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا To recite the Quran in a tartil manner. Tartil. Now, most of us translate tartil in many ways. But in, in terms of the definition of Ali radiallahu anhu, this is the meaning of tartil, and this is where tajweed comes from. You guys can write this down if you want to, this is just a bonus. Tartil. Allah says in the Quran, Quran, wa raktilil Qur'ana tartila. Right, Surah Muzammil. Now the word tartil, many of you definition, many of you vary in definitions, and this is where tajweed comes from. Because when we speak in Arabic, there is, there is no tajweed. However, in the Quran there is tajweed, right? You guys know, you know how you say, mean, you know, you know, when you read in a very specific manner, the regular Arabic tongue does not have that. Why is it in the Quran we have that? So Ali radiallahu anhu's understanding in that is this is the meaning of the theme. Da, jim, wow, ya, dal. Tajweed al-Huruf Okay? To renew Jawada yujawidu Tajweed To renew something, to make it good To perfect something To perfect the Huruf, the letters Wa Ma'rifatul Wukuf And to know when to stop The recognition of periods This is the word Tartil the definition of the word tartil. Allah says in the Quran, وَرَطِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Recite in a beautiful manner. And what is a beautiful manner? Tajweed al huruf To perfect. Jawada yujawid tajweed. To make it best. It comes to the word jayyidun. You guys remember the word jayyidun? To be very good. So in that case, to make it very good. What? The letters. And then after that, وَمَعْرِفَةُ الْقُوفِ To recognize your periods and your stops. You understand? And in that the tajweed comes. That's where the tajweed comes and that's where we understand the different laws of tajweed. And we will go over that inshallah afterwards. But right now, most of you brothers, since we do not have time, it's a time restriction and I'm going to take that's if I'm moments inshallah. You guys will have to sit down with your local imam. You have imams who are credible or the brothers of the masjid who know their tajweed. Sit with them inshallah and we'll figure this out. And afterwards inshallah, hopefully as our classes grow, we will begin a class with sabah. And you guys will give it inshallah the uh, the for the actual scope to actually learn the ijazah of at least one of your qaris that you recite. Most likely, I refer you guys, I suggest that you and I put to both of us, all of us, learn the qira of Imam Hafs rahimahullah because that's what we recite every single day. So we should have the ijazah in the recitation of Imam Hafs because we read that every single day. Basically, you know, when you read Surah Fatiha, Surah Nas, you recite one of the seven recitations, correct? And we should have ijazah. I, I emphasize that. So Brother Abdullah reminded me that today we're going to do, understand the haruf al shams and haruf al qamr Okay, the letters of the sun and the letters of the moon. Okay, so you guys can write this down. Harful Shams. Wal. Can everyone translate what I'm writing? Easily. Tajweed al to the, the, the beautification or the. I don't know what's a good word for Tajweed in Arabic. Or the beautification of the letters. Wa ma'rifat al And the recognition of waqf, of stopping. Over here, harfu shamsi, the letters of the sun, wal qamari, and the moon. Now, what is that? 
Basically, some of the letters, when you add Alif Lam to it, you will pronounce the Lam. And some of the letters, when you add Alif Lam to it, you don't pronounce the Lam. Is everyone following what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes a letter, you pronounce the Lam, saying Al Kitab. But then sometimes you don't pronounce the Lam, saying Al Shamsu, the sun. Though Alif Lam is there, you don't say it. So right now we will evaluate which letters you can and you cannot connect the Lam to and pronounce the Lam. We'll start with Alif. Okay, whatever letter we can, I'm going to put a small uh, sheen or a cough. That's going to be the key, okay? And I'm going to ask each one of you for example, so be ready. Alif. Brother Shoaib, give me an example of a word with Alif. Al Abu. Is Alif Lam there? The word is cough. Al Qam. Clear? Ba. Brother. Al Babu. Al Babu. Al Babu. Okay, yeah. Cough again. Next. Ta. At Tilmidu. At Did we recite the Lam? No. This is a Shams. Ta. Okay, we. What is. I don't get it. What is a Shams or Quran? A Shams or Quran is just a key to show you the letters that you do recite, the, you don't recite the Shin, uh, the Alif Lam, uh, la, you will be a Shams. Prove a Shams. And there is, uh, the letters you do recite the lam, you call it huruful qamar. Okay. Al shamsu, al qamar. Okay, you get it now? Okay. Tha, brother, brother Abdullah, that you got a hard one. Yeah, uh, no. Um, al thawabu. <laughs> al thawabu. Al thawabu. This is also a sheen. Next. What's the, what's the next letter? Do we even know our letters? Come on. Jim. J. Naqib. Jadida. Where do we go if inshallah when we die inshallah hopefully? So can we add an alif lam to it? Al Jannah. Qaf. Next. What's after that? Ha. Most of us confuse this with H. It's ha strong from your throat. Ha. Brother Maruf, give me an Arabic word with ha. Uh, Quran. Huh? <laughs> okay, Al Hur, yes. SubhanAllah. Um, just to show you, again, do not take this as a long way. You guys know the word, we guys say this in a very derogatory term. The word whore. You guys hear it. Correct? The word whore. That's actually a derivative of the word whore. And obviously it turned into something bad. Now, I, this goes so many ways. And since you guys are here, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat myself. The word Safiya, right? In Arabic. In English, you guys have heard the name Sophia? Yeah. You guys know where it came from? The rest is history. Many places you guys hear things that actually has, does not have an actual essence of something bad, but it turns into something bad. For example, many of you are Urdu speaking. You guys hear the word Battamiz, right? Battamiz yeah. all the time. But do you know what Battamiz actually mean? Mumayyaza yumayyizu or tamayyaza yatamayyizu means to tell the difference. Battamiz means someone who cannot tell the difference. Badma'ash, asha ya'ishu means to live. Badma'ash means someone who does not live properly. I'm here going to tell you right now, Allah is my witness, all of you are Janwars. Everyone's just shocked. What? All of you are Janwar. Janwar. You guys know Janwar? Yeah. I'm Janwar as well. The Persian term, Brother Jubayd, you can tell me, in Bangla, what do you call someone who plays sports? Kelwa. Janwar, anything that has life is called a Janwar. Janwar, Kelwar. Anyone that plays sports, is called a kelwa. Anything that has life inside of it is called a jan. Janwar is any being that has life inside of it. However, through the muhawra and the norms, that turned into a curse. However, don't say it now. I'm just this is for learning purposes only. Okay? Huh? No, just, just, be, just be careful with that. Okay? I don't want you to come back with a being. I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay. Al, you said al huru. Yes. This is ka. Well, let's not waste any more time. Okay. Jimha kha. Kha. Can anyone give jimha kha? What, what's the letter with kha? But sisters, go on. Anything with the khaw? Brother Jumay said bikhayr. So let's, leave, let's remove the ban from the alif lam. Al khayr. This is also a qaf. Next. What's next? Dal. Sister, what's any word with dal? Ad dawatu. Very good. This is a sheen. Next. Dal. Hmm? I, what? 
Can anyone give me a can you give a letter with that? Adhaka'u. This is Sheen as well. Ra. This is easy guys. What's Adhaka'u? Adhaka'u is purification. I thought it was that. Adhaka'u. Intelligence. 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 Yes, go on. Next. Arrajul. Huh? Arrajul. Arrajul. Very good. Sheen again. Next. Zab. Az-Zakatu. Sheen again. Then? Sin. As-Sunnah. Sheen again. Sheen. Sheen. Obviously, as you already know. Sword. Many of you say Sword. It's not Sword. Sword. It's Sword. Sword. As-Sawd. Very good. Sheen again. It looks like Sheen is winning. Baad. Abdiya. Sheen again. Ta. Tarawa. Huh? At Tariq. At Tariq. Very good. Again, Sheen. Dha. At Dhulmu. Sheen again. Then. Ayn. Al Ilmu. Qaf. Then. Ghayn. Al Ghina. Qaf again. Fa. Al Fiyah. Al Fiyah. Very good. Qaf again. Kaf. Oh, oh, no, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Brother Jubay is right, I mean to say, cough, a strong cough. That's right, cough again. Al-Qalam, kaf, like kaf. Al-Kitabu. Al-Kitabu, very good, this is cough again. Lam. Al-Layl. Al-Layl, she. Al-Layl. Next. Next. Mim. Mim. Then, what is it? Al. Al-Muslim. Very good. This is this is called next. Noon. Noon. She. Next. Wow. Noon. Wow. But according to some scholars, how comes first? So you can you can verify. Go on. Al waladu. Al waladu. Qaf. Ha. Al hidaya. Qaf. Hamza, which is the same as Alif. Then, ya, al, yaqeen, qaf. We recently, remember at the end of the Quran there's a dua? It's very good that you guys read it. It's very beautiful dua. Allahumma rizukna bil alifi ulfa wal ba'i baraka wa bil ta'i tawba wa bil ta'i tawaba wa bil jimi jamala. It's a very good dua. It's long but it helps you keep in touch with your Arabic. Okay, subhanakallah wa bihamdika shadu la'inka staffru kwa tuna. I apologize for taking some long time today. Mufi Zayd is in the retreat as I have to make dua so he comes back inshallah. And we'll follow on. Really? Any question? Yes. He he has a very good question. I will just ask that answer the question and he wants to